when it was being told to me, I sort of deflected it away because that is just, it's scary at that age to be told you might not make it. <laughs> when he said that I had squamous cell cancer, I think it was a little bit of shock and disbelief. I remember my wife started crying. It was complete shock. I'd never ever heard of testicular cancer. I, I didn't know somebody who was 22 years of age it would be possible to get something like that. Uh, many people um, uh, only know of me as being uh, Larry, Dr. Larry Einhorn's first successful cisplatin patient. Uh, in late September, September 27th of 74, um, he told me at this time that there was nothing more than he could do for me. The cancer was continuing to spread. And that's when he actually did suggest that I try a new chemotherapy. I could be one of the very first people in the world to ever try it. That turned out to be cisplatin. So when experimental drugs come out, like cisplatin, you look at it in a variety of different tumors. And it was looked in many different tumor types with some minimal success, some moderate success. But in testicular cancer, it had phenomenal success. Now for John Cleland, John Cleland had received several different standard forms of chemotherapy for his metastatic testicular cancer. He would have brief two or three month remissions. The cancer would come back come back again after second line therapy, come back after third line therapy. And the standard therapy at that time would have been hospice or just supportive care alone. But John had the courage to undergo a clinical trial. And by then we knew what the side effects were the, of the drug were, but we had no idea if it would make him live one day longer, let alone cure his cancer some 40 plus years later. Since I discovered about platinum, I knew about MSU and the fact that Barney Rosenberg had discovered it here and the story about the E. coli and the platinum electrodes. And I always found that an interesting story. It was towards the end of my thesis uh, that I noticed that there was a professor at East Lansing, Barnett Rosenberg, who did outstanding work. And uh, while the attempts of other groups to develop metal complexes uh, with uh, anti-tumor activity. It was only Rosenberg using uh, cisplatin uh, that was really uh, very successful. And so I applied for a fellowship in Germany and much to my surprise, I was successful. And this is why I could uh, join Professor Rosenberg's group in September of 1974. Barney knew what was going on. This was from his very first experiments, the very first major result that is observing the inhibition of cell division bacteria and resulting in and not growth and resulting in filamentation. He knew exactly what was at stake. He knew exactly what he was dealing with and he knew what the potential outcome would be. Now he, he had the mind, Loretta had the eyes. Loretta Van Camp was his set of eyes, a very good set of eyes. She was excellent. And she made a number of key observations all the way along. It's very clear it was a team science program. And, and in that way, he was an innovator well ahead of his time. And I don't think that part of it's really been recognized. So it's, that's been really inspiring for me to hear about how, how he worked because it's literally what the, the modern you know, biological and therapeutic world is, is, is trying to implement in the way that it, it makes discoveries. Before cisplatin, testicular cancer was a death sentence. And now testicular cancer is, it's cancer and it's serious, but almost every single patient is cured. If I could say one thing to the team of people that created this drug that saved my life, it would just be a huge thank you. You have given me life, a new outlook on life, um, and, and I'm, I hope to make as big as an impact on other people my time here as you've made on me. Every so often, 
something's brought to mind to remind me just how fortunate I really am to be here, to be alive, that cisplatin was part of that process. Watching my granddaughter walk through the door and, and run across the room, uh, sharing a lunch with my wife, I mean, just there are all sorts of things that come to mind. I really hope cancer is cured in my lifetime. I've been saying that now for almost 45 years, and I really want that accomplished.